We had our little biscuits, haven't we? Mm. Yeah, We're loving, aren't we? Yeah. Um, I, th I think I can just sum up the station, can't I, Steve, without just last la comment? I think you're probably right. Uh, I just came in, I just sort of went to the toilet there, and, uh, um, uh, it's a disabled toilet that's close to it. So, uh, you know, you go there, I had a wee, I thought, oh, the thing doesn't work, didn't flush. I came back and said, oh, the, the toilet doesn't work, doesn't flush. And, uh, Carl went, no, you just stick your hand down and pull the, that wire up at the... <laughs> think of that. Put your hand in the water. I mean, just when, da the when, water. when David Bowie, uh, interviewed Zoe, and come on, yeah, uh, it's toilet's not flush. He goes, all right, baby, just stick your hand down, pop the shit down the, uh, down the U-bend, <laughs> and just wipe your hands on your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, thanks very much. <laughs> I mean, oh, sums up this station, doesn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Tin pot. Have you ever done this? This is one of my most embarrassing moments. Is kind of, you know, because sometimes you'll see, you'll <laughs> see. What? Hey. Well, I, I, you'll, you'll realise what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, Rick? Was I, I almost leapt to the end of the story. <laughs> right. But I realised I had to go back a few steps. Yeah. I was right. just saying, have you ever cut? <laughs> well, you stop. <laughs> it was going to be coming, but it, but you'll understand in a minute when I finish the story okay. that it's not coming in the traditional sense. All right, because it also is followed by coming out of. <laughs> oh, sure. All right. Yeah. So and not your trousers. <laughs> not my trousers. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So um, now awkward moment, and I should just you know, if you're Christmas shopping, maybe you're in a big department store, mm. and um, you see the disabled toilet, and you think to yourself, I can nip in there, I can use that, you know, because mm. it's close to hand, because I got to wander miles for the regular toilets. I went in there once, in the toilet, you know, did a, a, a disabled toilet, just snuck in, came out, disabled person. Furious. That was, but it's really awkward. Because oh. it's like, because it is like it's their sort of private domain. You know, it's like, it's like they're part of an exclusive club. They've not got many perks in life, and that's one of them. And here I was, you know, kind of, kind of exploiting it. But they can't, well, yeah, I suppose they can be annoyed. But what it just did, you do, look did you do affect a limp? I, do you know, I normally do. <laughs> I often do. I off, I've, I've affected a limp many times. Oh. Um, uh, like for instance, yeah, if I take the lift in a building when it's only one flight of stairs, right, and they know, and I get up on the first floor, I always affect a limp coming out. <laughs> so that justifies why I haven't come up the stairs. <laughs> like, who is it that I'm scared is going to sort of say something? Yeah. But, uh, oh dear, that's, that's It's the great. same thing as if someone asks me for directions, I always pretend I'm foreign. I always go, I don't. Um, Why do you do that? I can't, because I, I'm just terrified of giving them the wrong directions. And well, then, just now, I don't know, I don't live from it. I don't, because like, I sort of, you know, I feel bad. Because what I used to sort of give directions was I like giving directions, I like helping people out. But then I realised I didn't really know. You, hang, you used to hang around going, you alright? Yeah, we're fine, yeah. Do you want to know where to go? I tend to have a go even if I don't know. Exactly. But it's, I'm always terrified they'll come back and find you and go, you led us yeah. astray. Yeah. So I, now I just affect the foreign accent. There was, a fellow, you know. there was a fellow the other day, about two weeks ago, and I was walking in. Little old woman, little old fella come up to me and said, uh, where's uh, Wimpole Street? So I said, uh, oh, I do know it. So I think it's over there. And then I'm not very good with street names, but I'm good that if you say, oh, there's a boots on it. Right. Do you know what I mean? If there's something near it, I'm, it's like the same with directions when I, when I used to drive a lot. Yeah, or historical facts. I didn't, I don't know like old motorway names, you no. know, like, and, uh, and this and then that. Mm. I can never remember that, but my dad used to always say, right, there's a horse in the field, turn right, yeah. and stuff like that. Stuff, yeah. Um, and it's the same with this fella, that he sort of said, you know, <laughs> where's, where's Wimpole Street? And I said, well, what are you after? And he said, no, I'm after some blood. And You're it was a blood. Blood. Yeah, there's doctors around there, aren't they? So I was like, oh. So that didn't help me. What do you mean he was after some blood? He said, oh, I need some blood. He must have had was an he illness. Bleeding? No, he just must have had, needed some new blood or something. He had some illness. And I was like, you know, I could, if he. If Why didn't he go to the pet shop and get some power? No, but. Like, he didn't have fangs and a cape, did he? <laughs> yeah. No, but do you know what I mean? Oh, that, that didn't help me out. But what if he said, well, some pile cream, actually? Can you. You go, oh, we, we want boots then? Yeah, I would, he would have been alright. But I didn't know where to start with that. I need some blood. Yeah, That's I just thought it's over there. Yeah, it's <laughs> sort of pointed him away. But so he was, he was <laughs> losing consciousness. <laughs> you sent him the wrong way. <laughs> He's dragging himself <laughs> along the pavement. <laughs> Is there blood this way? <laughs> Get oh. to the gap. She's growing ever deeper. Well, oh. we've got to, uh, we've got to do, uh, Pilkington, haven't we? Do you want to know? Yeah. Okay, we should explain this, I think. Well, it's, it's Carl's new idea for, yeah. um, a TV show. He wants to do, uh, a TV show called Do We Need Him, where he goes round and, uh, he talks to experts like David Amber, David Bellamy, maybe Lenny Henry doing David Bellamy. Right, yeah. If he can't yeah. get the real one. Um, and, uh, he just picks on an animal that he doesn't really like, doesn't think you need him, and an expert will tell him, uh, 
if we do, is this is the first installment. Let, let me put a song on, right? Now we've got them, and then I can set it up okay. and stuff and tell, you know, because explain it fully. Explain it and that. Let's do a classic. Let's do a big stomp in one of the best Christmas songs of all time, shall we? Edition. Indeed. Next week, we've had loads of just suggestions, Carl, for, for your best bits. It's basically all your best bits. Me and Steve are largely irrelevant in the, in the voting. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you, you can compile y your best bits next week and they'll be loving it. We've, we had a request for the, the, uh, little Chinese fellow in his pants, a horse in the house, cutting your hair on the railway, railway station. If, I mean, if you haven't heard those stories, <laughs> those, that, what does that mean? <laughs> the little Chinese in your pants, you've got to be tuning in next week to find out what that is. The only thing is, the old uh, horse in the house was in the last best of. Was it? Yeah. Well, that, that doesn't stop. What's his name? If you're one of those people that want <laughs> to see these clips again, yeah. tune in. Oh, yeah, it'll, it'll be, right, Christmas. It'll be right so. on the night, 84. Yeah, yeah. Someone kill me. <laughs> <laughs> what I think I'm going to live people. forever. Well, it's like we said before, who goes to the recording of one of those? There's <laughs> people in the audience. <laughs> yeah. Aren't there? That would be like, great. Yeah. Tickets for it'll be right on the night. And they laugh at his jokes, but I mean, I, I don't know I what I think how many are. takes it, you know, I mean, how I long know. it takes to record that. The, the, the show's about three hours, so the recording must be about nine. Have you, uh, ever seen Kirsty's home videos on Sky I One? I think so, I think it's, so. Uh, it's, uh, Dog, dogs falling down slides. It's like, yeah, it's like you've yeah, been framed, but it's- Falling over in a wedding. It's got audience laughter. But I'm assuming it can't be a real audience. I'm assuming it must be, like, no, the they just, they, they've, they've lifted, they've laughter. just lifted it from the Flintstones. Yeah. <laughs> they laughed from the Flintstones, yeah. A lot of people forget that the Flintstones had an audience. <laughs> if you, if you <laughs> watch the Flintstones, there's laughter when Fred does something funny. Yeah. <laughs> the idea of people should be shipped in but we were to watch about, a cartoon. I like the idea that some jokes weren't as funny <laughs> exactly. as others. Like the director going, we'll put a laugh on that and we'll go, it's not as funny. I and think Dino should, not as funny. Dino should get a round of applause every time he comes in. He, everyone knows him. The kids love him. Well, he's well, like, well, we're, we're making it up. Yeah, and Barney getting disgruntled because his jokes never get disgruntled. <laughs> yeah, he's like wise. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's like really wise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, Carl, here we go. It's an exciting feature that will, I, I think will be picked up by Channel 5. Uh, it's going to be Carl Pilkington, Do We Need Him, where Carl goes around checking out animals with uh, top experts asking whether we need them in the world. Yeah. So, um, we should, yeah, this is the first one. We won't do it next week, but I'm already sorting out the contact. We will be looking at octopus. Because they're a bit weird. Okay. So that's that's what you got to look forward to in two. You know, in, in, in o again, if you have an animal that you <coughs> feel is unnecessary in the world, then email us, and I'm yeah. sure Carl will investigate for you. Well, yeah. the other thing as well, whilst we're on to that, I want to sort of have a better research with me. So when I speak to the like the bloke or the woman about the octopus, right? Um, I want like you want to be response. The fact. Well, sort of response from listeners, so I can say, well, seventy percent of XFM listeners said we should get rid of them. Sure. So, I mean, <laughs> like John Snow does on Channel 4 when he does all like Political politics stuff, yeah. so if you agree with me just send an email yeah. saying yes well, so, so, so yes we should get rid of them yes yeah or yes get rid of them because you're, you're you're always you're the house believes always we should get rid of these animals that's you're picking animals you want to get rid of so yes is get rid of them no is don't get rid of well, them. Well, and not no, it's Noah, because they go on the ark. The ones we keep go on the ark. <laughs> <laughs> that element I'd completely forgotten about, and I think that's a wise move, because <laughs> I don't think that's working. I don't think you thought through the whole Noah. So that's just complicating the show, I think. So yes, yes, we get rid of them. Noah, they're <laughs> saved on the ark. Yeah. Right, okay, right, so definitely. here we go then, jellyfish. So we, uh, we today we're looking at jellyfish in Pilkington. <laughs> Talking to uh, to Vicky, who works in an aquarium in in Anglesey, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes. Right, brilliant. Uh, today we want to find out if we really need jellyfish. I've got a bit of a problem with them anyway, because because I've been I've been stung by one, and I've done a little bit of research into them. So I'll tell you what I know about them. Okay. Uh, you know, you, you might learn some stuff from me. Oh, well, you never know. And if I'm talking nonsense, just just tell me. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, right. So first of all, they don't have eyes, do they? No, they don't. Right. No. So I'm right with that. Uh, no lungs. No lungs. They haven't got a heart. No heart. Heartless. And they're made up of like ninety-seven percent water. Yes, they are. So they're pretty useless, really. Well, they have got a nervous system. 
um, they are actually about 650 million years old. So they they've evolved and they've outlived the dinosaurs, and they're even older than the sharks, and they can even outfox us. Um, because NASA scientists have worked with them to try and work out how they um, operate in weightlessness, and they still don't know how they do that. Took them into space actually to figure out how that they did how they did that. Seems like a bit of a waste of money, but. Yeah. Um, do you know Paul Maddock? I used to go there a lot for my holidays, and there used to be a load of them washed up on the beach. Yeah. People on motorbikes used to go over them and stuff. Yeah. So, well, we get the je the moon jellyfish. That's the ones with the. They've got pink bits in the middle. Yeah, that's they're, their they're, reproductive body. I, I think that was them. I think they're the ones who went over on the bike because you could yeah. see pink bits. What What do they do? If the jellyfish went, would Would we have a problem on our hands? Do you think? Okay, uh, you might have a bit of a knock on effect because um, things like turtles eat um, jellyfish. Yeah, but do we need turtles? Uh, well, don't forget that when you take out one, when you take out something from the marine system, mm. something normally feeds on. I mean, they're not just there for the fun of it something either feeds on it or feeds on what they excrete um what you're saying is they exist to sort of feed others and also to eat some stuff that's well yeah they control the population of other fish and species that might otherwise be a problem okay well let's let's kind of wrap this up right um the question that, that i'm asking today is do we need them say if say if um noah yeah had his ark, <laughs> right? You're, you know, you've swam and got on the boat, you're all right, you're safe, he's going to keep you to sort of populate the world as well, right? So it's you and him. Uh-huh. He's not a bad-looking fella, so, so you're happy. Yeah. Um, he says to you, Vicky, uh, do we need him? Absolutely. I don't even know why she even gave you that interview. When you start off with, right, yeah, trying to find out if I need you over, what did you tell her to get her to talk to you? Just, uh, just said I'm doing some research on stuff. Uh, did she think you were a schoolboy or something? No, she just, she just said, oh, all right. She said, you know, how long will it go on? It's not long, just like five minutes, have a quick chat. And she was, she was, loved it, didn't she? She sounded happy to take part in that. So the fact I love the fact that you've got an expert and you you suggest that she's going to be having sex with Noah. <laughs> He's a good fellow, so you're happy. She goes, yeah. I mean, I don't know why you stopped there. Didn't go into <laughs> positions or something. I I, I can't believe. Uh, the problem is, really, I didn't get to the bottom what, of what I wanted to say because. Oh no, you did. That's it. That's uh, that's done now. I've that's that's a pretty good minutes. academic work. That's proved. Yeah. No, but the turtle thing, you know, when she said, oh, if you get rid of them, the turtles, you know, won't have anything to eat. But when she said that, I mean, I couldn't say it because it would have took her off and confused her. But. Well, like, she's a scientist, she's easily confused. Well, we'll say, yeah. like, when, when Suzanne is working, right? I'm not a very good cook, so I always get, like, an Indian in. What? Right? <laughs> 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 so, I knew you could say that. So, I'm an Indian. Right, now, say if for some reason it closed, I'd get a Chinese. <laughs> So why, why don't the turtle just, there's loads of stuff in the sea, <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't want to get too heavy on her, but, uh, <laughs> That is pretty deep. <laughs> oh, that is genius. But we'll look at, uh, But so the fact that she said, yes, you need, uh, you need jellyfish, mm -hmm. does that mean that you've changed your, I mean, what I'm saying is, does her answer go, does that stand? Yeah, it does, yeah. It does, does it? It does, yeah. Whatever the, I, I get the expert to say, I try and get them in a corner. Right, you try and, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, argue yeah. them into a corner. I argue them into a corner, but that time she wasn't having any of it, so we've got to carry on having them. Yeah. So in, right. in, in the new year, we'll be looking at octopus. Okay. okay. Yeah? Yeah, great. Let's Brilliant. play some feeder. <laughs> so Carl with his Victoria Plum. I want to see a Victoria Plum. I want to know what it is. Is it, is it, does it look like a little gnome? It's, it's, a, it's a woman gnome. A female gnome? Yeah. A little gnome. Well, and, yeah. um, and, uh, did your mum collect gnomes? She likes anything gnomes. She likes fairies. She likes, uh, Indians. She collects all that stuff, yeah, and it doesn't matter what she it is. <laughs> what do you mean? You know, like a proper Indian with all the ad gear on. Or a native American. Yeah, yeah. She likes anything with them on, like, you know, it can be a fridge magnet, <laughs> it can be, uh, yeah. 
just, just say a lot of Native American wisdom is is around the fridge magnet because they yeah. think it has special powers of adhesion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, that's you read some of their their, their <laughs> the great writings, works, yeah. the great works. Um, now uh, <laughs> it reminds me, talking of gnomes, um, he said to me in the week, he went, "Oh, did you see that program on telly last night about dwarves and fellows without legs nicking cars?" <laughs> And I went, no. He went, oh, it's amazing, right? Because they haven't got legs and that. They scoot along and they can nip into a car like the Dukes of Hazzard. <laughs> <laughs> Explain more, Carl. <laughs> no, he said, I didn't see it. Someone else told me about it. Oh! That's what I said to you. I said, did you see it? Because I missed it. And it's about these, these little fellas, um, who, uh, specialise in car nicking. <laughs> and the thing I wanted to know is, because this lad who sort of watched it only watched half of it. Is he like you? Well, I said, I can understand how it's easy to get in, but then how do you get away? Because you can't reach the pedals. Yeah. Can there be two of them? But presumably he opens yeah, the car for someone no else. Good, is it? What do you mean? What, so he's steering and he's like, right, press the brake a bit. And then there's, then there's one that's just legs, but without the top half. I don't understand <laughs> how this helps them, though. What are they, what, why are they, why does this make it easier for them to get Because they cars? can just get through the window really quickly, like in the Dukes of Hazard. What? <laughs> Because their legs don't get in the way. Right. Do they just run? And just... But what do you mean with? the wind? I mean, what? So someone's driving along... Well, I didn't see it. This is why I'm asking open. you. I didn't, I didn't see it. Do they leap in when there's someone still driving the car? I don't know. Well, there's too many things left unanswered here. I well, can't no, go maybe someone's seen it and they can there. email in. But that sort of... This panicked you anyway, I imagine. <laughs> I bet you were gutted you missed that program, weren't you? Well, I would have done interest in stuff like that. Because I like <laughs> learning, which gets us on to educating Ricky. Oh, excellent. Slick. Uh, we've, had a, we've had a good year of stuff. Teaching we have stuff. Well. Yeah, I've uh, learned a lot. Can you remember any of that? Of course rides? I can. There was a death girl and she hit her head and she could hear. <laughs> yeah. Um, there was also, um, some people who ate tomatoes thought they were poisonous on lead. There was also a fella who, a doctor who gave a blood transfusion. Um, with some parrots from the pet store. Yeah. Um, because, uh, the doctor in America, and it was the olden days, when the lines were bad, said, give him his parents' blood, and the doctor this side thought said, give him some parrots' blood. So that was true, <laughs> and that educated <laughs> that me. That was fact. What have you got for us? Well, we've only got two, because I've taught you about jellyfish today, that yep. we need them, so we've only got two, two things to go at, and the, uh, the, I give them a little headline so you remember them, to make them snappy. Mm -hmm. Uh, yep. the two headlines you've got, Oh, what a catastrophe. <laughs> okay. Um, oh. and the second one is, well, you'd think it'd be Bughead, wouldn't you? <laughs> what? Well, you'd think it'd be Bughead, wouldn't you? You'd think it'd be... No, you'd think it'd be... Yeah. You'd think it'd be Bughead, wouldn't you? Bughead. 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 This can't be... If this is anything with a, a bug living without a head, I'm not interested. Because we've done it. All you've right, done is well, fun. Let's, let's just do a uh, what a cat <laughs> So is that. Is what, what, do that yeah, one one, which do one? Which one are we doing? No, do the bughead one. Right, well, the bug... <laughs> the bughead one. Uh, well, we've, we've talked a, a lot about animals and that, haven't we, without heads? <laughs> no, Surprisingly, we have. <laughs> I think a disproportionate amount on it. If you're a new listener, and this is the first time you listen, you'd be surprised. Yeah. Yeah, we've, done that. we've done We've covered uh, worms, the way if you cut their head off it grows back if you don't cut too, too high above its neck. <laughs> we've covered... <laughs> the chicken. Um, the fella who blinked. <laughs> yep. I can't go into it again. Right? Let's not go into it again. Ah! We've had um, the chicken with no head that lived yeah. for eight months. Yeah. And we've had, and we've cockroaches. had the cockroaches living for a week without an egg. Right. right. Okay. Well, it's, it's a bit more on the, on the cockroach front, really. Right. Um, they found right that if you get a cockroach yeah. and you cut its head off, yeah, right, yeah. and then you find a cockroach that's still got its head but it hasn't got any legs. Right. Right, it's not over for both of them, right? Because what you can do, you get the one that's got the legs, right, with no head, yeah. sort of running around, get the one with the head, uh -huh. sit it on top of it, right, get a little tube, <laughs> okay, so that the fluid. So is this, is this aunt has got out of the Let room? This is like Blue Peter. Let him you can get, you can get this for Christmas. Right, you get yeah. a little tube, you sit that on top so the bodily fluids are still running. Between the two. Right. The head of the one on the top will control the feet of the one on the bottom. Okay. What about that? Good. And, uh, will it continue to live? Um, yeah. 
Okay, you don't know that for sure, do you? <laughs> that, that was just a, that was just no, a question that the really wasn't expecting. That, yeah. what, what do you think of that? It's good, yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's just a primitive nervous system that can, yeah. Yeah. Did you, did you expect us to be more impressed and excited by that? Well, did you fall off your chair when you read that? <laughs> <laughs> did you literally topple off? Going, did you, look did you think you were going to be the Frankenstein of the insect world? Yeah. No, I just was thinking if they can do that, you know, with, with them, can they, they do with humans? Because humans. Yeah. I, I also did a bit of research. Of course, on you did. did you ever? Did you, did you come to the um, sort of conclusion that apart from the moral aspect of it, what? that the human was probably more? Complicated than, yeah. But do you know what I mean? Things things move on, don't they? Do you know Modern I mean? science, Rick. You know, I had I had Binatone as a kid. Now they've got PlayStation Two, and the difference in ten years. They is have amazing. found that if if you lose your head, a cockroach can live normally on your body, but not the other way around. Your head on its cannot control its legs because it's yeah. too complicated it's for too your confusing. brain. Oh. So uh, it, yeah. Well, so then then other research. Because uh, I thought, if you don't learn from that, I'll give you something else for free, right? Go on. Um, <laughs> for free. That they uh, can clone people. Uh huh. The only reason they don't do it, right? Say if like Ricky needed uh, a, a lung, right? They could clone you and make you the same. But the only reason they don't want to do it is because it, it'd be a bit horrible, wouldn't it? So and, and, and it would ta and it would take sort of eighteen years for me to get an adult lung. And there's all kinds of moral implications. Yeah. What do you mean, yeah? You hadn't thought so, of that. So, sorry, so, because, lest, lest we forget, Rick, he yeah. ended with the only reason they don't do it is because it's a bit horrible and that. <laughs> <laughs> Which scientist said that? Right, let's, let's <laughs> that's leave that. That's a quote. Well, I'm just not well, that's not it. That's not the other one. <laughs> that's it. No, 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 that was, that was just, you know. We've just got another one to come. Oh, yeah. I Teach can't us wait. The, the headline again, what was the headline The again? headline, oh, what a cat toe Looking forward to it. <laughs> so happy that the XMM listeners understand his stupid clues, and he knows it annoys me. We've well, got some right we'll answers be giving out the answers just quickly, just in case, uh, someone sort of missed one of them, I'll just quickly do them, yeah? Yeah, go on. First one, there's a load sure of letters. Show. <laughs> there's a load of letters there, asking for advice, put them on Claire's desk. Oh, well, Merry Christmas. Uh, Ask your mum if you should. Oh, and Merry Christmas. And, uh, a couple of people were arguing in the supermarket. It was Christmas, and that's why. Counter, and that's B. Okay, we'll give those answers out shortly. Yeah. I just have to show you something, Rick, before we move on. I know we've got another uh, Educating Ricky, but uh, someone just sent this in. Yeah. They've been looking on eBay yeah. for Victoria Plum. You're joking. Come here and see the photograph. Oh, God, that's fantastic. Hello. Yeah. Hello. That's it. Oh, God, he's got that for his mum. It's the worst piece of chat I've ever oh. seen. Carl! You, oh, Carl. Imagine how... Oh, gutted. Oh, imagine how... Look, think of him now, right? Because there it is. Oh. <laughs> That's the worst thing I've ever seen! I tell you, look, it looks like a diddy man gone wrong. It's it looks like a diddy man prostitute. <laughs> that is... That's a, is that the one, Carl? Is that, well, it was a different colour. It had a yellow app. Mine. No, but look, how do they get, tell them they okay, get, so, um, they're going to eBay. So you need to, uh, to log on to ebay.co.uk. I'm sure you've used it before. It's the uh, online marketplace, ebay.co.uk. And if you type in Victoria Plum, I'm assuming that you can oh try God, this yeah, down. That's amazing. It's the worst piece of rubbish oh, I've ever seen. Oh, just think how cute he was as a kid, though, doing that. Just think of him, just going, <laughs> just, that was just seeing that and thinking, oh, like, <laughs> he likes gnomes. <laughs> it's the worst thing I've ever seen. I mean, to be fair, <laughs> I mean, I don't know what her prize collection of gnomes looks like, but I can't imagine they're much better than that. I mean, gnomes are a fairly oh. grotesque thing. Oh. But certainly, your mum's taste and discretion is, is... Did you have any, did you have a, those houses on your estate, you'd go in there and it was just loads of those dolls still in their packaging all around the room? And sort of like, one of those homes that all, keeps the, uh, sort of packaging on the three-piece suite. Why don't you buy another one for her for Christmas? Yeah. Just... It's three ninety nine. It looks well. That's, that's two pounds forty nine, because that was three ninety nine dollars. Well, oh, buy it, Carl. No, so I've got her. I've sorted out her passport this year. Anyway, I'll get her that next year. Right. <laughs> so listen, right. right? Okay. So that's <laughs> educating Ricky. Oh, Christ. Um, what a cat toast. Yeah, let's do that then. Enjoy a film. There's this woman, right? <laughs> yeah. This woman, she's reading uh, Guinness Book of Records. Yeah. And, um, she, she's flicking through. Yeah. And she notices that there's a world record for a cat, right, with, uh, 27, uh, toes. Right? <laughs> so she reads it and she thinks, well, that's not right. 
Because her cat's got 28. <laughs> what do you mean her cat's got 28? Her, ca her, her cat's got 28 toes. So she was like, well, hang on a minute. Mine should be in there. So there was oh, like, I missed the very beginning of this. She, she was. She, 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 she looking through the reference. Oh, the, the old woman. A yeah, woman was yeah. looking through the Ginsburg reference. The woman with the cat with 28 toes was looking right. through and it said the record for uh, the cat's toes was 27. She thought, hold on. <laughs> hold on a minute, Ross McWhorter. <laughs> <laughs> My cat's got one more than that cat, so go on. Um, anyway, so she said, uh, you know, the person doing the interview with her said, you know, is it happy? And uh, she said, yeah, yeah, you know, she, it, it's great, and it, it's, it's really good in the snow. <laughs> right. It gets through a lot of nail varnish. Well, yeah, that's, that's what it said, right? It said it's really good in the snow. So, I just was thinking, uh, I mean, that's it, really. That's, that's not of, it. That's the end of that story. But Brilliant. What but what I'm thinking is, right, It was she, two cats welded together. No, she, she said, uh, you know, it's happy, so is the other sort of disabilities where in a way, it's not all bad. Oh, Christ. <laughs> no, do you know, like, that book Steve brought in for me? And yeah. there was a fella there, one of you had three legs, who was a juggler. <laughs> and I was like, what's the point of that? <laughs> what do you mean, what's the point of that? What's the point well, of he's what? he's not taking advantage of having three legs, is he, being a juggler? <laughs> yeah, he said he should be a footballer. <laughs> right? So, uh, but, <laughs> no, but in a way, he's used it, hasn't he? He's probably not even that good at juggling. But because he's got three legs, people have gone, well, I'll give him a chance. Let's go and see him anyway, see if he's any good. Yeah. Right? So what I'm thinking is, is there anything else? We've mentioned, uh, the, the midgets today who are good at robbing cars. Uh-huh. Because they can get through the windows like Duke of Isaac. Sorry, sorry, so listen, listen. I, I'm, look, um, I'd just like to say, this is the Radio Authority listening, we are in no way suggesting that one... Uh, midget's forte in life is robbing cars, no, or no, that no, if you're no. a midget sitting at home feeling sorry, that you should go out robbing cars. I no. just like to say, this is no. Carl Pilkington talking. No, the no, views no. of Carl Pilkington is yeah, yeah. not no, necessarily no, no. those of XFM <laughs> or us. Yeah, but it was a TV program, so it's not me, I'm just saying what I've seen on TV. That you didn't see? That somebody told me about. Yeah, just so you could be wrong, just like a lot no, of your spurious facts no. that you just see on the internet. You well, know. I'm just saying. Yeah. So, is there anything else? We've seen the fellow with the three legs. So, what you're saying is, is there a disability that is actually an advantage? Yeah. Right, I mean, okay. Steve mentioned about the disabled Lou. They're always really roomy and, like, got multi gym facilities in them. <laughs> multi gym facilities! Oh, you know multi gym I mean? facilities! What do you mean, Carl? There's always bars everywhere and that, isn't there? That's not parallel bars. Yeah, they the don't do gymnastics! Up. <laughs> what are you yeah, working yeah, out? I'm just, I'm just saying though, do you know what I mean? So in a way, they've, they've got that. So, always, what I'm saying is, when you look on the brighter side, it's like Elephant Man would have never got up and gone, oh, look at me hair today. <laughs> <laughs> Nor do you. No, but, do you know what I mean? <laughs> He, he, he would never have that problem. You're a maniac. Forget it. I thought no. we'd be able to like, get a serious discussion going here. <laughs> well, okay then. So, this is a serious discussion, is it? Yeah. Okay, well, let's treat it sensitively then. If you really want a serious discussion and talk about whether there are some disabilities that are an advantage, so let, let, let's, let's, let's think of some then, shall we? Well, I've, I've said three already. Yeah. You can't say, um, uh, uh if you're deaf, um, uh, Bobby Davro won't annoy you. That doesn't count as an advantage. Do you understand? Do you know what I mean? Carl's looking at you thinking, that's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll leave it then. I'll come up with a better feature for next year. Oh. We'll, we'll bin that, we'll bin that. <laughs> oh, so, God. So you've got any disabilities. We'll bin that like that was gonna be a feature. <laughs> what, you were hoping that that would be a spin-off feature? Disabilities well, are actually Well, it's invented. another form of, do we need them? It's like, But that's you know, Carl, think of it, it's like that, it's like that joke. A bloke that, as his, wakes up in hospital, he says, good news and bad news. Bad news is we've had to amputate both legs. What's the good news? The fellow in the next bed wants to buy his slippers. See, that's not an advantage. Mm. It's a joke. That doesn't really happen. People don't go, Oh, that is good news. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably get a quid from. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but the fellow with three feet, what would he do? Well, he'd buy a pair and then just nick one of those because they put out one shoe, don't they? Are those, um, yeah, if you've got one leg, you can nick shoes. Mm. Good point, right, Carl. Now I'm getting you thinking. Yeah. Right, so we'll do Rockbusters answers next then. Happy Christmas, war's over and all that. Indeed. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant tune. Great tune. And well, I've, had, I've had a great time. I've had a great time. Uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope we haven't offended you by some of Carl's rantings. 
Just think, just, just think of what he's gone through in his life. That right. Victoria Plum incident. Carl, I've got a little gift for you here before we go. Oh, you're joking. Uh, I haven't got you anything. Well, no, I don't, you haven't got your girlfriend anything. I haven't expected much. <laughs> It's not, it's, it's not, uh, exciting, but it's worth taking. In fact, you could, why don't you just re-gift that straight away? It's alright, cheers for that. Yeah. Champ- it doesn't even look at it. It's champagne, champagne, champagne. Yeah. champagne. champagne. Yeah, that's not the champagne we got free from the BBC, is it? It's not actually, no, Rick, because, um, that is far too good for the likes of Carl. Oh, right. And I wasn't going to get to you, you wouldn't appreciate it, that's just sparkling wine. Oh, brilliant, oh, I love that. Yeah, he, well, he doesn't know the difference. Um, um, I'm seeing Carl on Christmas Day, because, uh, he's around Christmas Day in London, so I've got, I'll, I'll get a little gift then, Carl. <laughs> alright. That'd be good, wouldn't it? It'd be a nice little... Okay, answers. We you would have to go to bed at six, though, so right. we can play. <laughs> right, here's the last clues of the year. You had, uh, there's a load of letters there asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Go that on, was no F. Idea. That was for Foreigner. For Rainer. I Claire, don't know what you mean. Claire Rayner, she took advice, she gave people advice. So that's a foreigner. Oh, God, that is shit. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. That <laughs> might be Christmas, that is absolute dark. A lot of people got the right answer. I know, yeah, well, well that annoys advice, me well, even more. The two. second one, ask your mum. Foreigner. Yeah. Foreigner. Um, second one, ask your mum if you should. That was S. That was Shalimar. 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 Right? No, bizarrely, what was the clue there? Ask your mum if you should. Now we got a lot of people saying smashing pumpkins. Is the answer to that? <laughs> well, I don't know who's saying that today, mum. Smashing pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, mum. Smashing Thanks pumpkins. Thanks very much. Nice bollocks. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> great. <laughs> that's great. Right. Smashing pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> your dad bought them for me for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Ah. And the last one. Um, <laughs> Lovely plums. <laughs> <laughs> well, my Victorians. <laughs> oh God! Right, we've got to wrap uh, it up. We've got to wrap it up. Come on, then. Uh, a couple of people were arguing in the supermarket at the fruit and veg counter. <laughs> that was B. That was banana drama. They were like having an argument. Banana, banana drama. drama. <laughs> what, no, wait, 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 wait. What group is banana drama? What group is banana drama? So <laughs> you're a fool. You're a twat. Well, so you say that, but you accuse her. You accuse Carla of that. You're also accusing lots of the listeners, including the winner, yeah. Nicola Rogers uh, of London, and she wins those great prizes, and she got them bang on. So banana so drama. Can, so can we finish there now? Yeah. yeah what I do you mean? Do. What do you mean? Can we finish there now? Just, just play the ads and go. What? No, we're, what are you talking about? We're going to play Jamie oh, Jamie 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 You've been voting in all week, sending your emails, so here's the clips that you wanted. <laughs> Carl Pilsen in the chair now. The, um, oh, the talks about the acclaimed educating Ricky. Right, well, just in case anyone's new, doesn't normally mm. listen, yeah. um, basically, I'm educating Ricky. Yeah. Uh, do a bit of research in a week, find stuff, news, history, Anything that's interesting. Um, three stories, so give them a nice little headline. You take your pick. Yeah. Between now and three, you're going to learn three things. Yeah? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> the headlines are, um, I'll be no buying one of them. <laughs> <laughs> give us that again. I'll be no buying one of them. Nice, okay. Yeah. Uh, we've also got, uh, Hippopotter News. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And, uh, chicken, you believe it. <laughs> chicken, you believe it. <laughs> well, well, I'm going to go for the positive news. The positive news? The positive news. Right, well, this one, it's, uh, yeah. I'm not going to take the credit here. I heard Christian talking about this on Breakfast, right? Because it's a good, good, uh, good story that happened. Um, basically, I don't know if I told you about it last week when we were having our spaghetti. But, um,. Oh, I think you did. Right, I know it? what it is. I know what this okay, is. Okay, I've not heard this. <laughs> right, there's a little midget. Right, there's a circus. I'm loving it already. Circus going on somewhere. I think it was in America. Yeah. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> is that present day or old times? <laughs> I'm talking, like, in the last three weeks. Okay. Right? Uh, little midget. Uh, circus, really <laughs> packed out show, people are loving it. Um, <laughs> Steve, you will ask the same question I did, I know. <laughs> so, um, so there's a little, little midget jumping up and down on a trampoline. <laughs> That's what a circus is doing! Right. Take good money to see it. So, everyone, everyone's clapping, and he's getting carried away. Um, <laughs> 
Because he can't believe he's that. He can't believe they're loving it. I didn't know they'd like a little person on a trampoline, but they love me. But you know what it's like when uh, if there's a crowd of people sort of encouraging you to sort of go higher and stuff. Yeah. And I'm sure he knew he was it was getting out of hand. <laughs> but he was jumping and he was coming down the road going higher and he's going really high in the air, right? So he's he's doing this crowd of clapping. There's a hippo, right, just sat next to the trampoline getting ready to come on and do his act. Oh, right, I thought he was in the audience. <laughs> There's a hippo <laughs> getting ready to do his act, Steve. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, the, the he's hippo. a ventriloquist. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean he's sitting by the trampoline waiting to do his act? Because it's Why do they sit in the dressing room and they go, five minutes, <laughs> Mr. Moss, five minutes, Mr. Moss. So, <laughs> anyway, right, so the hippo's there. Uh, <laughs> he's getting annoyed because the because the midget's he's going, how can I follow well, this? How yeah. can I, this is really him. annoying. They're going to be, yeah. oh, yeah. no. So, <laughs> he's thinking, he's already done the trampoline, my pogo stick out, he's never going to work. <laughs> yeah, come on, so there's a hippo waiting. Uh, this, this, see, it's a great story, and I just know he embellishes it, or it gets slightly wrong. Go on. So, so there's a midget jumping up and down, the hippo's yeah. getting annoyed. He the crowd are going mad, the midget's loving it, can't believe his luck. Although we think, you think, he probably knows is dicing with danger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, next thing you know, they're all saying hi hi hi. He gives it one big, like, heavy sort of landing on the trampoline, goes really high, but goes off at a funny angle. Oh, hypotenuse. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, and sort of flies out. <laughs> <laughs> hypotenuse! <laughs> sure. Flies off at a funny angle. Who dear? Hippos there, swallows him whole. <laughs> Crowd are clapping, thinking that's why the hippo was waiting there. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> It's not rubbish, though. I but mean, no, maybe the, uh, there was an accident in a uh, a circus with a midget and a hippo. Eh? But at no point was this hippo waiting to go on, going, "Come on!" The midget flew off at a hypotenuse and landed in the hippo's mouth and was swallowed whole. <laughs> this well, is this is what you embellish it. That is great. And what's I that? have to say though, Rick, when I heard midget trampoline hippopotamus, I was thinking actually, what didn't happen? Yeah. So. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it is it that 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 you should never put those three together. <laughs> never. It's it's a recipe for disaster. It's Everyone knows that. Midget trampoline, it promise. <laughs> Are you mental? You're asking well, for trouble. Well, you know was... when he told me it, he said, and the midget. He didn't. He didn't mention it, promise. <laughs> and he said, and the midget went on like, and soon he fell off, and the hippo ate him. <laughs> And I said, sorry, what was the hippo doing there? He went, it's a circus. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of a circus having a hippo. No, what do hippos do? What can they do? You can't train them. <laughs> what do you, what do you, aren't they, like, very deadly? They're yeah. huge, aren't you they? You can't have a hippo in a circus. You're not thinking of Zippo. <laughs> He's neither claim. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 no, you know, it, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't some sort of, where Zippo was eating a midget and it's it's some sort of horrible sexual act. No, it was definitely, I heard it on breakfast, right? And oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> no, it's definitely fact. Yeah, okay, it's definitely right, okay, good. Uh, well, let's play a record then. So, 4.9, I'm Ricky Gervais, uh, with me Stephen Merchant. Uh, it's the best of. You've been voting in all week, sending your emails, so here's the clips that you wanted. We, we, me and Carl went out, right? Um, and, uh, um, with, um, me and Jane, Carl and Johnny and Gigi, wasn't it? Gigi, you Is it important to win? No. Okay. But we're walking down the street. Carl was there, though, and he can back me up on this. Um, we had a curry. We were walking back. And, uh, this little funny homeless fella, didn't he? Mm. He, uh, oh, I got a tell you before, before I go, didn't he? Yes. <laughs> he, 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 uh, he came up to me, right? And he recognised it. Um, and he came up to me and he went, he went, oh, he said, I've just nicked five of your DVDs from HMB. <laughs> and he shook my hand. He was so happy with it. And I went, right, excellent. He went, all I do is I just swing the bag over the top. Like that when, <laughs> when I'm going out, and he had a bag full of DVDs, didn't he? And what? he was he was so pleased to tell me that he'd stolen <laughs> that great. He said that he said they're going like hot cakes. <laughs> he said they're going like cause they are. Yeah, you're <laughs> yeah. them. I know we get paid for them, though, don't we? So we not the stolen ones, don't we? No. What do you mean? Did you sign them for him? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, were you an idiot? <laughs> what? So um, he just nicked five. Yeah. Did yeah. you say he was homeless? Was he? Well, I, I, I don't know. Maybe. No. Surely, how would he have seen the show? He would just walk past Curry's one, one, one Dixon's. morning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The Teddy idea. Seen a trailer for it. I thought, oh, interesting. I don't know if he was homeless. I didn't. I didn't go into his home sure. life. But, he shook his hand though, and but he's he made Carl look smart. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Mm. So, uh, 
<laughs> How does he sell them? Where does he sell them? Does he go to people and go, do you want an office DVD? They're not nicked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Four quid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Are they stolen? No. No, 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 no. They've still got the tags on them. Well, yeah. it's like those people who, um, you know, you know, those cab drivers that you'll meet at sort of three in the morning who've just got a car yeah. and just went out with a car. Yeah. And just, I'll, I'll drop pick people up and charge them. Yeah. I got in one once, I said to him, uh, the guy just pulled up, I said, uh, he said, I was in like, uh, East London, I'm going back to, uh, North London. I said, uh, yeah, going to, uh, Swiss Cottage. He went, sure, hop in. <laughs> we set off, he went, do you know the way? <laughs> I said, well, not really, no, I thought, I thought you'd know the way, you're in a cabbie on. He went, no, I don't really know the way there. I, don't, I, said, I said, have you got an A to Z? He went, no. I thought, well, if you're going to go out just on the, you know, just winging it as a cab driver, yeah. two things, take a map and a torch. He didn't know yeah. either. He said, uh, well, I'll probably get to Camden. I said, right, I'll direct you from there. Drove on for about five minutes, making conversation. In fact, five minutes later, he went, do you know the way to Camden? <laughs> I thought, you knew the way to Camden? I don't really know the way. I thought, <laughs> oh, it was loot. I mean, let me out. You know, Four yeah, quid. Exactly. And that's, I, I can't, I don't know who's got that sort of time on their hands that they just think, it's three in the morning, I'm, I'm at a loose end. Mm. I think I'll go out doing a bit of cabbing. Wow. Well. Yeah. Because your dad was a cabbie, wasn't it? Yeah, he was, yeah. Couldn't stand it, but it's, it's good money. He was a prof- he wasn't like a chancellor. Black what cab, was, black cab. what was he, what was he doing when he put that little Forrest Gump in a, in a weedy bin? That was, uh, that was part of the cab company thing, cause they had to do like a charity event once a year, and he did it one year, never asked him again. Tell us the story again, I, I know you I'd rather not, cause Why? we got, cause we got a few sort of, uh, complaints about it. Why? Why do you get complaints about it? Because it's because he put a kid in a bin and it's not the thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> so. But we could use it as a sort of sobering lesson for people. <laughs> yeah, tell it like a, tell it like a, you know, don't, yeah. you shouldn't do it. No, it's, it's I, yeah, but that's how I did it last time, but people still didn't like it. All the stuff I tell you, I don't, you know, we don't take the mickey out of people on purpose. No. We, it's real life, isn't it? And mm. that goes on in life. Yeah. My dad I, was saying that in hospital, though. Do you know I was in hospital? Yeah. You know, he did some jokes about old people and that. And he said, at the end of the day, if something makes you laugh, it's funny. Do you know what I mean? Enough. So, what are you meant to do? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. laughing's good for you. Yeah. So... But being laughed some... at isn't as good for you, is it? No, but there's probably more people laughing at one person, so if you balance it out, <laughs> there's only one person who's upset and there's a bunch of people laughing. <laughs> so, it's, it's... That's genius! Give me an example of that, give me an example. Well, for instance, Carl Pilkington as he talks and the people listening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, give me an example of like, so, it's, uh, it, you know... I can't, well, I can't because, again, that's what I'm saying, I can't tell you the story, because yeah. there might be someone out there who... This person might even be listening and think, I forgot about that and you brought it all back to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I prefer to leave it, but I think people know- Why did he put him in the bin in the first place? Because he was getting out of hand. What was he doing though? You see, I can't explain- You can't, don't be silly! I prefer to- to leave it, honestly. What, what, what was he doing? Was he annoying him? He was annoying my dad and the other people in the cab. Right. And he thought, how can I deal with this mm -hmm. before it gets too out of hand? Yeah. <laughs> he pulled over and put the lad in a wheelie bin. I'm going to pass. So we'll, we'll leave that. <laughs> K104.9, uh, Ricky and I are on holiday, obviously it's Christmas time, but Carl is here in the studio, he's pressing buttons. All right, Carl? All right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you make of the first genetically modified baby? Oh. Are you worried about do you, these? Do you know what, what did they do? What? Oh. Let me see what it says here. It's well, isn't it just choosing, uh, choosing the, you know, eye colour? Well, this or, is the, this is the this is the concern, isn't it? That in the future you'll be able to decide uh, whether it's a boy or a girl, what how intelligent it is, what it looks like, is it handsome, is it ugly? Obviously, no one will choose an ugly baby, and so on and so on and so on. And so, it means that you know, where will it lead? Where will it end, Carl? Are you concerned? I've thought about this a lot. Cause what will us three look like in the future if listen. they're being, you know, genetically modified beautiful people? What will be we be like? How will we be considered in That's society? True, yeah. But we've talked about this before, haven't we? About uh, the cloning thing. Yeah. That's a bit weird. Yeah. But um, I don't think it matters because at the end of the day, right, you might look like some other kid, but it's the way you've brought that you brought up that will change your features and the way you are, you know, your personality. If you lie, you get a long nose, don't you? Well, no, but listen, right, because I remember when, when we, you know, I was growing up on this estate. This is gonna be good. Go no, on. no, it's not. It's just a, an example of how this doesn't work. Go so, on. so we don't need to worry, sort of thing. Sure. Right? Okay. So I'm growing up on this estate, and there was a there was this woman about four houses down, right? It's a bit rough. <laughs> all right. Didn't fancy her. Oh God, no. 
Right, but she had a Why? baby. Well, tell me about her first. I'm interested in this woman. Why was she? It, it was a very. She looked like being a man in a dress. I mean, I didn't grow up in a posh house or anything. I'm sure. Not, I'm not saying that if you live in a bit of a rough house, mm. you're a bad person. What did she look like? But anyone can Tattoos? clean up. She looked like Tony Green with a fag on. They didn't clean up much, right? Oh. Which, even if you've not got a lot of money, you can still try well, and make a place look nice. Yeah. Right? But she didn't, and. A kid used to take a horse into the house. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> whoa, 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 Neddy, whoa, whoa, Neddy. What do you mean a kid used to take a horse into the house? Where did he get a horse? Right? Must have nicked it from somewhere. <laughs> Must have gone. Is there using water <laughs> No. <laughs> what, is that from outside the saloon round the corner? <laughs> yeah, was it just tied up with a bit of lettuce? <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, that's great. I Big, Big Jake. I'm <laughs> looking <laughs> for it. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, so let me get this up. This was before the lynching stopped or after. <laughs> <laughs> Where did he get a horse from? What do you mean he must have nicked it? He's going to say, where'd you get that from? I bought it. All right, then. But <laughs> keep it out of the kitchen. I don't want you going cattling, rustling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where did he get a horse from, Carl? <laughs> and how long did he have it for? In Was sort. he leading it or riding it? <laughs> Mum, open the door. I can't stop. I can't stop it. <laughs> open the patio door as well. I'll be Looks like we got us a runaway. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know, but the oh. thing is, they couldn't afford to buy one because they're not cheap. So I'm just guessing. Maybe that's wrong of me. But I, I think he had a horse. Yeah, right. So that's I, why the family didn't have any money. They'd spend it on the horse. No, exactly. I don't think, that's what I'm saying. I don't think they would have bought it. So anyway, yeah, it's always so, to whisper, Carl, in case they're listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they it's could not, be in the room next door. It's not buying it. It's keeping it as well. Oh, well, so well. I, so I was like in the car with my dad coming yeah. into the avenue, and you used to have to drive down it to turn round. And, yeah. Uh, and you know, sort of go back to to our house. You had the traditional method of transport. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, the horse was in the lounge, <laughs> reading a paper. Just just like walking around. <laughs> oh God! This is what? And when I when I was doing, it, I, I tried to earn myself some money once by flogging little flowers in in plastic cups. What? This right. is and genius! Went, <laughs> it just keeps coming. What do you mean you tried to flog little flowers? What do you mean? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let's play a record. Let's play a record and come back to this. It's always going to just wait, unravel wait, and unravel. It's going to go for hours. Let's it play a track. Deeper and deeper. It's yeah, like an onion, onion isn't, isn't it? it? We've created a whole world here where there's a man living with a horse. Just walking around the lounge. When I come from the West Country, I've never heard anything like that. I just think of a big sort of like orange carpet and it's got a rediffusion telly and this horse going, I'm fed up in here. Exactly. This is really. I'm not taking the rubbish out again. Yeah. Right, play a record. Let's have uh, Velvet Underground. We've got that lined up. Oh, yeah, the God. classic from the first album. Uh, I'm waiting for the man. Let's come back to the horse in a second. Little. Yeah, great track. So we were talking. Uh, we were doing White Van Man, and uh, we got onto uh, um, we got onto genetically, uh, genetically modified babies. But and then Carl we... started telling a story about someone with a horse, and then he got onto. He was trying to make money selling flowers. Just do the flowers briefly. Well, hang on. I just want to recap slightly. So there was a family, and who had the horse in the family? It was because you lived on a, an estate in Manchester. The, so the, the, the yeah. mother, the mother was a right. Pig, apparently. Well, look, I don't know if that's you relevant. You don't need to go that far. But you, well, 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 what I'm on. trying to do is like make a picture for you so you understand. What, what, what a picture like? it is. Who did she look like? Um, bit of a, and no disrespect to her, bit like Pauline Quirk. <laughs> Quirky, yeah. <laughs> Right. Okay. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. I knew it was going to be important. Did she have any tats? Did she have any tats? I've never got that close to her. Okay. All right. So, and so, who had the horse? Was this her son or her no, husband? No, her, her daughter. Her daughter had stolen a horse. Yeah, from I don't know where. There was a, I think it was some stables down the road or something. And they they kept the horse in the house with. Them. They kept it in the house. Did but they, they get didn't caught? have it for long? No. So and you said you were in the house one day and you saw the no, horse. No, in what there. happened was I was. Um, they did this thing at school about raising money for charity. Right? For some local charity. And they said you can do anything to, to raise money. And they came out with all these ideas and I thought, oh, that's good. What was the charity? Well, forget, well, I don't know. I thought, forget the charity. Yeah, that's I'm just a, a good money making over it. So, <laughs> You're a charity. So, um, <laughs> so I asked my mum for some, uh, cause she used to have a lot of flowers around the house. Sure. I said, can I just take some snippings of them? And, uh, I'll go and buy some plastic cups. And, uh, got some soil out of the garden. Planted the, 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 Bits of plants in them. Yeah. Got a tray. Yeah. Had about 25 plants on it. Selling yeah. them for 25 pence each. Excellent. Did you any? Yeah, so loads. Did, they, did you just cut, you didn't just cut them and stick them in yeah, the soil? Yeah, they want to survive. Oh. 
<laughs> but I think people sort of thought, oh, good on him for trying. But anyway, so I went round to theirs, because I thought their house could do with a bit of colour and stuff. Yes. Because it's a bit rough. So, as I went- The horse went, thank God for that <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> they was <laughs> they was feeding me kitty cat. <laughs> so I got up to the door, and they opened the door, and it was one of them houses where- no carpet. <laughs> yeah. A horse in the living room. <laughs> you know. We've all been there. And, yeah. and the horse was walking around the living room. Oh. And it looked quite happy and everything because I always say that about animals. That beauty right? was on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, think about it, right? If you were a horse, where would you rather be? In a little wooden hut with a load of hay or in like a house with a you know, heating. three piece suite and sure. a telly and that? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was saying this the other day. And an Atari. Right? <laughs> I was walking through London. Coming off 64, yeah. rubbish. Exactly. W walking through London with Suzanne, right? Yeah. And you know, like homeless people always have dogs. And yeah. she said, oh, I hope, I hope she looks after it. I said, they've got, that dog is happier than most dogs. Right. Because people always walk past and give it a pat on the head. Yeah. It's with its owner all the time. Yeah. yeah. It's out in the open, it's not locked up in a house. Yeah. It doesn't you know eat, I mean? but other than that. <laughs> no, it does eat though, they're always alright. So that's what I was saying, I think this horse, was was doing all right for yourself. Yeah. You know? Well, not many horses have got their own house. Is that the first start? Yeah. Well, anyway, that's that's well, that's by the point. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, this family is a bit. What we were talking about? It was about cloning. genetically modified kids yeah. and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Right now, what I'm saying is, you could say, you know, right, Steve, you could have a baby, mm -hmm. right, and Ricky could see it and say, God, I want one that looks like that. Yeah. <laughs> right. It could happen, Rick. <laughs> So come on, work with him. So you take it to your doctors, <laughs> and I don't know what they do. They, they inject it with something or whatever. Yep, that's how yeah. it's done. Yeah, and uh, get a little baby, and there it is. It looks the same. Now the thing is, you separate. You both go off and do your own things. Yep. Right yeah. now, you look at Steve. Stephen, this is. You look after your baby. Yeah. You treat it well. You give it good food and that, a good dad. all the vitamins and stuff. Yeah. And, Ricky just gives it cheese. <laughs> right. So then it changes its looks. It goes a bit fat. You know, it gets tired easily, and that sort of thing. <laughs> now, when this family- Why am I just feeding a baby cheese? Right, this, this, um, this, this, this family had a horse in the, in, you know, in, the, in their house. Yeah. They had a, a little baby. And my mum went round and said, you're not gonna believe this, but it's a beautiful looking baby. Right? Yeah. And I was like, well, you know. And, uh, the weird thing is, it was a good looking kid, but as time went on, they didn't really look after it. And I'm not saying like abusing it, but he used to run around, he used to play out till like 10 at night. Yeah. Uh, he used to chase cars. <laughs> right. It was a bit. <laughs> Did it have hooves? <laughs> yeah, no. No. <laughs> Chase cars! Right. What sort of kid chases cars? Oh god! Now, was it called Rover? The weird Did it catch sticks? It's Liam it was called, right? Right. Now, the weird thing is, it was a good looking kid, but as time went on, and all that like, not eating properly and its hair was all patchy. <laughs> it's not Liam Gallagher, is it? <laughs> <laughs> and chasing cars and that, and it became an ugly kid. It's definitely Liam Gallagher. <laughs> And that's, uh, that's what I'm saying, right? You can uh, clone, you can clone all you like, but at the end of the day, it's yeah. how you brought up. Brilliant. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Life. Wow. That was a hell of a point. Oh, God. <laughs> but am I right? Uh, you're always right, Carl. Excellent. I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve and Carl. Mm. Carl, why have you got a headache? You got a headache? Just a bit stressful because the moves moves on this uh, this week. Are you moving yeah. heads? Oh, by the way. Uh, the XFM listeners came round to me house and bought the, uh, food on and table. Did they? Were they happy with it? Quite normal. They were well happy. Yeah. I couldn't believe the luck with it. <laughs> really quite normal. What do you mean quite normal? Well, it's always a bit scared, isn't it, getting, getting people round. I imagine they were scared. Well. <laughs> <laughs> and were they excited to see you? Could they, I mean, they were, you know, could you tell that they were pretty pleased to see you? No, I don't think so. I mean, you you're know, Carl Pilkington. Yeah, but I, uh, the, the fellas sort of, I mean, they brought the whole family round, which was a bit odd. <laughs> well, it's not often they get the chance to, to visit a living creek. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, no, uh, they, were not, they were nice. They were and nice. you're moving now, yeah? He said he'd phone me up today. You know, it was absolutely tipping it down. <laughs> he had to cycle in. Because <laughs> he said, because of the move, he doesn't want to leave his bike round there. <laughs> and he said... <laughs> He said, and uh, Suzanne, oh, I can't say this in case he's listening, can I? He won't know. Will uh, he? He, said, he said, Suzanne's hired the oldest removal man in London. <laughs> you should hear him. <laughs> 
And the thing is, right, we ah. booked him, we booked him because everyone else happened to be booked out, but this fella's free, right? <laughs> so he called up this morning, and I've never spoke to him, but he was on the phone. He sounded about 90. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> God, I think that he's gonna have to do all the work. <laughs> and, the, and the thing is, <laughs> We, well, it, it seems to be cheap. He wanted some Werther Originals. Yeah, right, yeah. listen, he seems to be cheap because it's £50 an hour. <laughs> but how long is it going to take him? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so, genius. When, when's the move on then? When's he going to move on? He's coming right, he came round today to bring some empty boxes and he was struggling with them. <laughs> 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 so, uh, it, it actually happens on Wednesday. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway. I woke up this morning, yeah. Feeling fine. It's not a blues song. And, uh, I turned my phone on, and it, it was from Carl, and it went, forget it, I've made my mind up. And I thought, wow, what is that? And I forget it, it, I've made my yeah, mind up. Yeah, I went, Carl, what is it? He went, Oh no, it's about the text I sent you last night. I went, well, what, what was it? I just got this text. He went, ah. Oh. oh, I was just wondering. I was lost thinking last night. He says, supposing you had to have your hands removed. Sure. <laughs> right? <laughs> 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 and the doctor said, well, <laughs> you can either have them stay like that with stumps, or I can sew feet there. <laughs> what would you have? And I was bleary eyed and I went, the stumps? He went, yeah. <laughs> I went, all right? He went, yeah. <laughs> and then and what that, was his follow up text to that? And then I got the text, it was obviously before it, and it went, and it was like quite serious. What, what would you do if so you don't your hands? Would you have stumps or the feet? Right? Now, the way, uh, when I said, he's made his mind up, and I went, the stumps, he went, yeah. I think secretly he decided on the feet, <laughs> but he was too embarrassed to tell me. <laughs> There's a little. <laughs> Little bit of what would you do? Because it's. It, but why night, did you think of this? Why did you think of this? Girlfriend's this away, right? Yeah, no, that's not why you start <laughs> thinking bizarre I'll, surgery I'll devices. Now, right? I'll let you into my little mind, right? Last night, I um, I had some beans on toast, right? She was, <laughs> she was away. It's good already. She right? was away. She had some beans on toast. She I went it. wild. Yeah. Right. Now I was stood up. I live on like a on a high street, right? So um, I'm washing up. I'm looking out the window. First thing that had me attention is I can I can look into other people's flats, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was weird how all these different lives were going on. I was watching them, and everybody had the telly on and was watching Volcano, right? Which was on last night. Right. right. And I thought, oh, that, that's weird, right? I can see them all watching it. And it was like a little Chinese lad who was dancing around in some underpants. <laughs> and then there's a little old woman who lives downstairs who was reading a book, and she's always reading a book every night. And it's like, I have a better life than her. And then there's a, there's like some sort of bouncer who's always getting ready to go out late at night yeah. with all the black on. He looks like a bouncer. So I was watching all this life yeah. going on. I thought, did you witness a murder while you were doing this? <laughs> yeah. It was like it was like that sort of sliver film where that bloke had loads of tellies watching yeah, people's sure. lives. So that was going on in my mind. And then I was washing up, and I picked up the plate, and I thought, oh, it's amazing, isn't it? The, the human body, the way you can just sort of. You know, I want to pick that up, and you do. Yes. And the way your hands work, right? Yeah. You've got five little digits, but it's it's just the right amount to do what. You, <laughs> yeah. To do it's what you've got to do, right? So, <laughs> so I'm I'm washing, I'm cleaning the plate. <laughs> Sorry, Carl. Stop. It's just the right amount. Might be one of the most genius things I've ever heard said. I would love David Attenborough to phone you up and say, Carl, how do I word this about the evolution of the mammalian front uh, limb? Just go, we'll just say it's the right amount. Isn't it? But it is. It one, is. One of course extra it is. would get in the way. Yeah. And one less would just make it a little bit more tricky when picking up a, a bit of a slippery dish. Sure, or, buy, or buying gloves. <laughs> yeah. A slippery dish. So then, I, I was thinking, oh. uh, imagine like going to the doctors and they're saying, yeah, everything's alright, your art's good and everything, but... <laughs> your art's good? What, your Larry's or...? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> your heart, your heart, you're in good form and what have sure. you. It's good news, you know, I had Giano in earlier, he's not looking good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. you're, you're alright, but your hands uh, need to come off. Right. <laughs> Blimey. But, That's bad, like, I'd get a second opinion in this show. But a better good news, I've got a nice pair of feet I can sure. sort you out with. Yeah. And he puts them on, and then I was thinking, right, first of all, <laughs> washing up, what would that be like? <laughs> But Steve, <laughs> that'd be it's tricky. Really, yeah. And then the second thing was, it'd probably ruin the, the sort of the shape of your jumper. 
Because <laughs> you had to keep putting the feet through there. Yeah. And then I thought, but I could still cycle in. Okay. To work. You could run in. Well, that's the thing. You'd be, was, like, you'd be really yeah. fast. Well, well, that's what I was thinking. I thought I could still cycle because I could balance. And then I thought, but the only thing is I probably couldn't pull the brakes. <laughs> Uh-huh. Because of the little short things. Yeah, yeah. And then, like you, I thought, but then again, you're running in half the time. So that's what was going on in last night. Right. That's what I was thinking about. Did sure. you, did you How long did this take? <laughs> well, how long has it take to wash up? Right. Because I imagine you just being there for, like, all night. <laughs> Probably 25 minutes. How long did the little Chinese fella dance for in his pants? He, he's always doing it. Last night he was at it for, like, ten minutes. Just, yeah. And his girlfriend never sits in the same room as him. She's always sat in the bedroom. <laughs> She's going, you, you dance in pants again, I'll go in next yeah. door. Well, she was in the bedroom. She's always in the bedroom, sat on the floor, on the mobile phone. Right. All the time, yeah, it's weird how people's lives are just like, it is like that Groundhog Day thing. It's like, you know, he's jumping about in his underpants. The old woman's sat there reading a book. Yeah. And that's what got me thinking about my life. Do you think she ever goes- Are you sure she's not dead? <laughs> 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 Every time you look down there, she's just clicking through it. She's just reading this book. The pages never turn. She never seems to finish it. Oh, she never moves you, from her chair. Are you sure, are you sure the Chinese her girl's cats going, are dead around I, her? I, I'm going into next door again. That little yeah. round headed fan is looking in. He's looking in at me. The bouncer goes, don't worry, love. I'll go and beat that's, him up. But he's true. always getting ready. That's true. They're they, see, they see you staring at him, watching him going, I could have feet. Here and they get yeah. scared. The old woman's dead. Oh, dear. Carl, can you tell us roughly which neighbourhood you live in, so so it's, that we know? It's central. Central, is it? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Imagine if that little d was he a Chinese fellow? Did you say? Yeah. Imagine if he was listening now. I'd love him to call in and explain these actions. Well, he, he might be on some other radio station talking about a lad who's always washing up and <laughs> yeah. looking at his hands in a mysterious way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but do we have this doctor? This doctor that would go, well, all right, Carl, I've got, you can either leave him with stumps, or I've got every little pair of feet. Why, uh, I mean, I t told Jane this, and Jane went, D is that the only choice? Is he, could he say he could have some dead man's hands? <laughs> have you got any, have, if you, where do you get the feet from? Where do you get the feet from? Can I have, can I have, what would you rather have then? Human feet, or monkey paws? Well, I mean, that wasn't an option last night. That if the doctors no. said... No, it wasn't an option last night, but don't forget, it's in your head, Carl. <laughs> this didn't happen. No, this but is... I'm just saying, at the time, that's all the doctor had to offer. But you know, it's your head, you can go anywhere. No, 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 it wasn't a real doctor to offer. Uh, you're listening to the best of, basically, Carl Pilkington. Right, you ready then? So, uh, just in case... Uh, you haven't heard it before. I give you some initials of a band or an artist. We're not doing rock buses now, are we? Yeah, I thought, well, we've just... Oh, then we, we keep, keep that going, then we got... Well, I, I love educating Ricky, that's my favourite thing now. Well, what, what do you want to do, Steve? I oh, mean, let's, let's, just, let's, let's do a clue. It's, it's just difference. that you've, it, it's, it's sort of bigged up the prizes. And, and so this be... is only by email. Give the email address out now for people to write it down now, Carl. Right, it's ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. ricky.gervais right. at xfm dot co dot uk only entries on email yeah you're gonna get three clues you've got to get them all right and you win all you stuff. win all those prizes you said okay carl go on then right and just a quick example uh the f one of the first ones we did it was like ak and the clue was exploding pet yeah and it was atomic, atomic kitten, kitten right yeah. so you understand how it works now these right. are your clues the first one <laughs> um that army has got some well nice trenches. <laughs> that army has got some well nice trenches. Excellent. Yeah. And the initials there are D W. Do you write some of the questions for fifteen to one? <laughs> Go on. So that army has got, got some a similar well phrasing. Nice trenches. Okay. Okay. Uh, the second one. Um, what are the initials there, Colin? That person. D D W. D W. Yeah. Right. Uh, the second one. The top of them curtains are all wrecked. All the materials all worn. <laughs> He has it out though. We've got to get him on telly. We have got to get him on telly because his little face and his, so that's, his gestures. And that's the second one. The initials being H V. Okay, the top oh. of those curtains are wrecked. All the materials are all worn out. Right, H V. <laughs> <laughs> and the final one um, is the final clue. Um, I was in Texas the other week. Right, I tripped and landed on my knees in a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> what's the, what's the initials? W H for that one. So I was in Texas, I tripped up, landed on my knees in a puddle. So that's W H. Incredible. <laughs> I've got it! 
Is it right. great? It's fantastic! It's <laughs> okay, time to join the record. Time to join the record. you're playing for uh, these okay. uh, compilation albums. We've got the Fat Boy Slim DVD, Linda Green oh. on VHS. And of course, uh, <laughs> Executive Decision, starring Kurt Russell as well. <laughs>